12 minutes past eight is the time. Uh, we're talking about schools today going back in England um, in September. So you'll be seeing staggered starts, no mixing between year groups, and a focus on core subjects. Yes, they are just a few of the changes that children are expected to face when they return to school in England in September. Full details are going to be announced by the Education Secretary, Gavin Williamson, today. There's going to be a special press conference today as well. Um, we have Dan Johnson, who's at a school in West Sussex, to see what staff and parents think. Um, interesting, isn't it? Because there, there are two sides to this. Some, obviously, parents want their children to be educated, but it needs to be done safely. Absolutely, and that's been the impossible puzzle of how to get kids back in the classroom, how to fill up schools again. This is the drama studio, the dance hall here at this school. It hasn't seen anybody for the last three months because so many pupils have been learning at home. And one suggestion that might be included in the details to be announced today is that perhaps some of those optional subjects like drama or dance may be paused for a bit, suspended, so that kids can focus on the core subjects, English, maths, science, to help them catch up. There's even the possibility that these extra subjects may not happen at GCSE level next year, that students may have to drop them altogether. And there are big questions about social distancing, how that's going to be reduced so that more children can be in schools. John Maguire was filming at a school in the West Country yesterday. When these pupils return to school here in Western Supermare in September, their number will swell from 40 to 900. Clearly, the social distancing rules in place now will need to change. But change has been a constant of late, and staff are confident they can cope with more. Our strategy is that we are hoping for and anticipating and looking forward to having all of our children back with us, in front of us, in September. We are ready and geared up for the children to come back in. We know that we can manage, and we know that we can navigate our way through because we've just done it. And where parents can decide whether or not to send children to school now, in the autumn, attendance will once again become compulsory. So, anxious families will need to be persuaded. We've been making well over 600 phone calls every week to our families to touch base with them, to check that they're OK. And those relationships have now become really, really strong. And that's been a, a positive that's come out of this experience for us. And we'll be you know, leaning on those relationships to support them and, and their children coming back into the academy. The usual September concerns about school uniform, PE kit or new subjects will take a back seat. The priorities will be safety, reassurance and hopefully a guarantee that pupils will be able to catch up. The back to school checklist will be like never before. John McGuire, BBC News, Western Supermare.